Hey everybody, this is Birch, and uh, I'm going to apply calm voice here because uh, I'm I'm tired and it's early in the morning, and I am pretty calm. Got coffee here, uh, just just kind of a normal day. I want to uh, to read you this. So here's a mail I got, and I, I I'm I have mixed feelings. I've read it a few times actually because I I had the annoyed feeling, and then I had the I feel sorry for this feeling, and I had the optimistic feeling like, oh, you know, but but this guy's trying, and and so I, I have gone through a range of emotions, uh, but let me let me read it to you because uh, one thing to take away from all this is uh, if if you kind of I, one of the tricks they'll teach you in in business school or when you're doing management, uh, especially executive leadership kind of courses. Um, they'll tell you, you should read over your emails, just read them. And do they sound, is the tone right? Do you sound crazy? Um, it's a skill that I think would help a lot of people just, just in general, if, uh, if people could really kind of pick that one up and, and kind of run with it. So, um, because you know, in, in, and and by the way, I'm going to say this on the offset and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you, then I'll, I'll tell you, I told you it's an old sales trick. Um, but one of the things I want to tell you is, is that my point of view which a lot of people have tried to dissect and manipulate and twist around and give lots and lots of reasons why it's different, but it's remained the same. And it's been my point of view. If you go all the way back and you look at things that I I posted here online, other places, um, I'm in favor of comics being printed and put out into the world, whoever you are, whatever you do in your personal life, whatever's going on. I think we need more comics and when I say that, by the way, it sounds like a contradiction because I often make fun of how many comics the corporations are publishing, and they are publishing too many. But for the indie scene, for, for you know the small guy, for the person who's trying to get it started, if you have a comic vision, tell it. But please do. And, uh, and I think it's wrong, full stop wrong, if people try and prevent you from creating your comic. Now, you know, n- nobody is forced to buy your comic. That's a whole different story. But you should be you should be allowed to make it, okay? And I'll I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But let's get to this mail. It says, "Hello, Perch Comics." You can just say Perch. I have been a listener of your channel on and off for about two years. You have a great love for the legacy characters produced by the greats of Marvel and DC. However, I cannot understand why you refuse to let the past go despite all your commenters telling you that Marvel and DC are going out of business because of their woke comics. I will try to convince you that DC and Marvel's days are numbered. They will be forgotten in the dustbin of history, and it will all be the faults of the woke artists, writers, and editors who are too busy planning to deface the traditional values of the past of Marvel and DC. I feel sorry that you probably will be the last to understand that they cannot stand up against the all caps here. Phenomenal writing Eric July and his team. The phenomenal writing Eric July and his team. Phenomenal writing. Okay. Not just Mr. July, but other creators like Michael Bancroft are not only influential creators, but they will win simply because they have the moral fiber to stand against the degeneracy and laziness that pervades the comic book industry. They're willing to go the extra mile and be honest with fans. We now have uh, John Del Araz taking the helm of the Iron Age movement of comics. His trad, just his trad, I'm I'm reading it, I'm, I'm reading it as it's written here. His trad Catholicism guarantees us victory. I think he means traditional, I'm not sure. I don't think you can understand that's always a way to win uh, win my support when you tell me what I what I do. I don't think you can understand, but Marvel and DC are on the way out, and no spreadsheet can prove that wrong. Okay. Um, I get a lot of mail like this. I would say every few days I get a, a mail like this, but but it's it's a person, you know, for what it's worth, and and it's terrible. I you guys send so much email. I get somewhere between twenty to thirty emails. Uh, a day uh, related to this channel, sometimes more. Um, you know, one one of those, it, it, not one a day. I, I get like three or four of these a week, I guess. Better way to put it. Um, and I I, get, I always have these mixed feelings. Um, this one, it, it, I'll be honest, it feels like it may be a troll. I, I is this a person serious? I'm not entirely sure. I'll, I'll just be be blunt with you. I'm not because there are definitely people on 
quote unquote, both sides who like to um, create little like, I, I don't even know why, why they're wasting their time with me. I am not a big channel. Um, I'm just not sorry. It's, it's not punching down. It's like punching into air. You're, 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 I, I don't know what, I don't know what you're doing. Um, but anyway, I get mails like this, but let's for the moment, assume this person is serious. Um, my, my answer back is number one, stop caring what I think. Stop. Like, do you need, why do you need this? And a lot of people do need it, including big, big people, big, uh, crowdfunders, you know, I, I, I got sent links to some live stream that, that people just went on and on. And they, they seem very obsessed with getting me to admit that Marvel and DC are going to die. Why? Why does that matter to you? It's weird. It's just weird. Um, and, and regardless whether it will happen or it won't, and the answer is it, it won't, but who cares what I think? Honestly, who cares? Particularly from uh, weirdos with, uh, you know, more subs than me. Like, why, why do you care? Why do you care what I think? You shouldn't. But I go back to what I said before I read the mail. I'm in favor of comics coming out. So all of these people, uh, Michael Br Bancroft, uh, John De La Raz, um, Eric July, they're putting out comics. Good. That's a good thing. Put out your comics. Again, whether people buy them or not is a whole different story, but put them out. You know, I, I, the corporations, they're fine. They're putting out, they're cranking out their comics. They're doing their business. If you're an individual who has a dream or has a story you want to tell, I, I want you, I want your comic to get out to the world. Let it happen. That is my honest feeling. Um, your goal should not be, if your goal is to topple Marvel or DC, that's a stupid goal. If your goal is to put out a good quality comic and get an audience for it and make some money, that's a great goal. If you do that well enough, you will actually sit, you will topple some of those other people. But you need to set out, you need to put, put the right foot forward first. Get your comic out. Start. When I get mails like this, um, you know, particularly the, I will try and convince you and I feel you will be the last I, to know. I don't think you can understand. This, these kinds of comments, you sound like Scientology. And, and you know, tough love time, um, this is part of the problem. Why, you know, people still ask me, why, why do people come at CG? Well, some of the reason is not, not all of you, maybe not most of you, probably and definitely not most of you, a few of you, you sound like, a, you sound like you're, you, you, this is a Scientology, <laughs> this is a, Jehovah's Witness kind of thing. It, it, it is the, you must believe, you have to believe, you must believe. If you don't believe, um, I don't know, you know, I cannot understand you. I must convince you. What, like what? You want to sit me down on a chair, pry my eyes open and have me read uh, crowdfunded comics? What's, what's wrong with you? It's, you sound crazy. You do. And, and it's a shame because, you know, people are, are making money doing these efforts. That's good. That's enough. You don't need to do an email campaign saying, I don't think you can understand, you know, what's going on. You make everybody crazy. Um, somebody sent me a note, I don't know, like a couple months ago saying, uh, one of the guys mentioned about John DeLaRoz is really mad at you. He's mad at you because you, uh, you, you made a joke about him in a video. I'm like, I don't remember talking about John DeLaRoz in a video. I couldn't figure out what he was talking about, this, this writer. And, and number two, I don't even know if John's actually upset. I don't, I don't know John. Don't, I do not know the guy. Um, but, it, but eventually it's like, no, on this video. And I go and listen to it. It's like, I'm talking about Dan Slott. I'm not talking about John DeLaRoz at all. It's like, well, all the people on Kiwi Farm say you took a shot at John. Like, yeah, the incorrect. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's weird. Again, this is weird. Just make your comics. People make your comics. You do not need to, to run some kind of weird op to try and say, I, I know you will never understand. Like what's what? God, who cares to put it in, in a different language? This is so that, that kind of thrust. It's so cringe. So my, I'll give you a, a, this is what it reminds me of. 
Right now, as we speak, uh, Dan Slott is super angry and blocking a bunch of people on Twitter. He's doing this because of the She-Hulk show. The She-Hulk show, you might say, the thing that was on a couple of months ago. Why, 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 what's going on there? Well, apparently, uh, some people said that She-Hulk twerking, which, by the way, is my nine-year-old daughter's favorite part of that entire show and the only part she remembers, uh, She-Hulk twerking was not you know, related to the comics. It was not uh, true to the comics. And Dan Slott is angry about that. And uh, he said that he, uh, you know, he wrote a lot of those comics. And therefore, you know, he is the authority to say it was like the comics. And if you say it's not like the comics, then he's going to block you. And he's going on and on and on about this. Tweet after tweet after tweet after tweet. Angry. Fighting this fight about if She-Hulk twerking is accurate to the comics lore or not, and uh, running over his CV that he wrote She-Hulk. Why? What in the the fuck is the point of that? Who cares? Is she, is it, is it accurate or not? I I mean, I don't know. Who cares? Again, who cares? It's an interesting thing to debate, I guess. What am I saying? It's not interesting at all to debate. But if you want to have that argument, you can. But why is Dan Slott having that argument? He's employed by Marvel. He did write those comics, like, what, 20 years ago? Does it matter? Is this this worth getting heated up about? Dude, you're paid by Marvel. You write Marvel comics. Why are you wasting time on Twitter arguing trying to convince other people that a scene in a, a post credit scene in an MCU TV show on Disney Plus is accurate to the lore of a comic you wrote 20 years ago. What, why does that matter? My God. But this, it, it's, it, it has the same energy. Just make your comic. Make it to the best of your ability. Sell it. Get it out there. I took a lot of heat years ago. When I said, good for Zach for Jawbreakers, this is one of the first big comics to break through on on that end to make money. And I said, congratulations. And man, people are pissed about that. How dare you? They said, if Hitler made a comic, would you support that? I'm like, Hitler's dead. That's a stupid argument. I'm sorry, that is a stupid, stupid argument. What what are you inferring? We all know what you're inferring there, but that's dumb. You make yourself look dumber. You made all of us dumber for reading it. But people were pissed. Like, how could you say congratulations? I said it because good for him for making the money. Good for him for putting out a comic. Good for everyone who puts out a comic, regardless of their politics or their views or whatever. Go for it. No one is forced to buy it. Trying to get in the way of that and and prevent people from ever seeing it is, is wrong. It is wrong. You can throw a bunch of legal words at it, but just morally, it's wrong. It's not your business. It's your business not to open up your wallet and pay for it. It's your business once the comic has come out. You can certainly tell your friends, I think it's garbage. That's fine. But just let people make their comics. And and so all of these people, uh, July, Delaraz, uh, Michael Bancroft, good. I'm proud of you for making the comics. I wish you well making the comics. No, no caveat, no second sentence, no asterisk. Make your comic, put it out in the world. That's it. That's my point of view. It's as simple as that. Whether Marvel or DC wins or loses or publishes 500 comics or goes bankrupt or any of those things, that's irrelevant to your comic going out. Let your comic go out. It doesn't need to be all tied together. And it's weird when people do that. Anyway, I, I don't know. I, there is, uh, I, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm reading over that damn slot stuff. I'm looking at some of these live streams. Why is it that people with so much skin? Why is so much of it thin? You could you could fold it together. To, to anyway, I don't know what I'm saying now. Look, um, I am in support of these creators. I'm in support of any creator any creator who wants to put out a comic. 
put out your comic. That doesn't guarantee I'm going to buy it. Doesn't guarantee your comic's going to be successful. But I'm in support of you putting out your comic because that's that's. I, I trust that I'm enough of an adult that I can pick and choose what I want to read. That's it. As far as uh, I will try and convince you, and um, I don't think you will understand, and all the people, I, all of your commenters, no, the majority of my commenters actually are perfectly normal, sane people who just like talking about comics. The, the majority of my commenters, the vast majority of my commenters are those people. They are not up in arms about this culture war. Most of it are bored and just sick of it as anyone else. The majority. Um, look, good for these guys. I wish you well. I, the Iron Age? I wouldn't, I mean, I would. The Iron Age? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? I just hope the comics are good. Put, the, put out good comics. And, you know, I wish you well. That's it. Thanks for listening.